Bristol Motor Speedway. One of the great venues in all of motorsports. And tonight, hosting the Craftsman Truck Series. outside Sanchez inside we are underway at Thunder Valley there was that momentum that big roll off the top Eckes easily cleared Sanchez Kyle Busch is going to try to do the same thing see Kyle Busch up there in the second oh Sanchez big time wobble and look at oh Gray just had to back out of the gas because Sanchez came down that's Taylor Gray number 17 black and white inside of the 71 and 45 Caden Honeycutt in that 45 for Nice. There's Majeski that 90. Ooh, Raja slips up off the bottom. Did you see that big run the 45 got? He was up high, and he had a big, strong run off the corner. Good momentum. That could be a good sign for us to see some good two and three wide racing tonight. I think it's slippery out there right now. <laughs> I think it is, too. We've seen that all day long. Sanchez has recovered, gathered up inside of Kyle Busch. They're racing for the runner-up spot behind Christian Eckes. Look at that truck wobble off turn two. He's got his hands full. 45 truck, excuse me, out there as well. Looks like Kyle may be trying to figure out how to work that outside group in by himself if he has to. Matt Mills in the 42. Ah, that's a shame. Try to get it fired up before the leader gets here. It's been a rough start to the year for Matt. Been 10 laps in, and already the yellow flag is out. Christian Eckes from the pole has led every lap so far. This is Trying to stay on that lead lap, but look at Taylor. Great three wide. Are they going to crash? And we've got a problem. There he goes. Keith McGee, I believe, in the 22 sideways. Yes, it is. Second caution of the night, 22 to go here on our opening stage. Stefan to stay on the lead lap. Keith's already a couple laps down. See him come up the hill there. Yeah, Stefan did an excellent job of not crashing. He got he recognized Keith was coming up, got on the brakes, and was able to save his truck. Stefan, you know, he'd gone a lap down because Eckes got by. However, first truck one lap down at the time of caution. We'll see how NASCAR rules it, but he could very well here get the free pass, get back on the lead lap. Ben, move him up the hill. Keep your eye on this 99 truck all night long. No harm, no foul, right? Well, you're Kate Honeycutt, you're, you feel fouled. You remember. <laughs> you feel fouled. It felt like a flagrant foul. <laughs> no whistle, though. Uh-oh. Little lap traffic. Final lap of the stage. Kyle Busch out in front of Christian Eckes. Kyle going to win stage one. Eckes finishes second. Sanchez, Majeski, Zane Smith, the top five. Taylor Gray fell to sixth. Ankrum was seventh. Rhodes ends up eighth. Honeycutt and Infinger, the final trucks inside the top ten. For Kyle Busch, that's his third stage win at Bristol. In front of him. Garcia's 21st. Three to go, stage two. Look at the 71 truck up top. Roger Carruth trying to hang on as well. Some really good trucks in jeopardy of going a lap down as we wrap things up in our second stage. And some good ones have already fallen a lap behind Kyle Busch and others. Roger said, just Jake, let's just stay side by side here <laughs> and not give that seven truck a room to get by us. This for second, Sanchez and Eckes. Final lap, stage two. Kyle Busch in behind Garcia and Carruth. Carruth is teammate. Get out the broom. It's a sweep for Kyle Busch. He wins stage one and stage two. It's the fourth straight year a driver has swept the stages here at Bristol. None of the prior three have gone on to win the race. Ooh, Adam. But but none of them are named <laughs> Kyle Busch. <laughs> I think there was. How about Kraft and that yellow truck there battling up in the top five? Great run for Matt. Oh! oh there goes Majeski. He's going to have contact. Ben Rhodes, his teammate, hits him. And the caution is out for the fifth time tonight. And we are lucky. Several. As we were just underway that we didn't have more trucks get involved. Several trucks behind him. 
sliding sideways. There you see the damage to Ben Rhodes' truck. Solid run for that number 99. I think Majeski will have to Tire come to pit road. Tire pit road pit there. Let's see what happens here as they exit turn two. Majeski in the 98 down there on the bottom. Just gets loose. And bounced up the hill. And watch, watch Matt Crafton. You talked about what a great run he's having. Poised, just pauses off the gas, doesn't do anything abruptly, and squeaks by Majeski. Yeah, Ben wasn't near as, as lucky as Matt was because Ty was coming down the racetrack right in his path. I wonder what Duke Thorson's reaction was to that. Crafton battle for the lead. Eckes is back, and he's going to make the pass. There goes Christian Eckes. Easily makes the pass. I felt like the adjustments on the 19 truck really lit that Napa, Napa blue truck up, and he is flying right now. Look at that. I was concerned that he went for it on the restart, and after the contact, the truck might not respond, and he wouldn't have what it takes to get there. A few laps later, not only does he make the pass, but he's starting to put some distance between himself and Kyle Busch with Matt Crafton now just behind the five-time winner here at Thunder Valley. Man, I love what Matt Crafton's doing. This is so much fun. I know there's a bunch of these cup, cup guys smiling right now, seeing the multiple grooves on this race track. Run high, run low, run wherever your vehicle sticks the best and goes the fastest. It's going to bode well for that race tomorrow, isn't it? It's going to be so fun tomorrow afternoon. But we got a barn burner right here tonight. They're going to swap. Oh, Stewart, Stewart is Friesen around. With a problem. He was inside the top ten. It's our sixth caution of the night. Looks like he had some contact with Nick Sanchez. I saw sparks off the two truck as well. There it is. Oh, wow. Both were in the top ten. Eight for Friesen, right, ninth for here. Sanchez. There's the squeeze I was talking about. Bam. Sanchez with the run on the high side, and Stewart tried to close the door. Tenth better. You remember just a couple laps ago, it was nine-tenths of a second. It's down to a half second now. And the last right now, you can visibly see the gains Kyle's making. Is he going to have enough time to get there? Tenacious is that seven truck. He's going to fight to the bitter end. Two left for Christian Eckes, trying to hold off Kyle Busch. Down to four tenths of a second, the advantage for the 19. And shrinking. We'll see the white flag this time around. Bush is high, Eckes is low. Half a mile to victory for Christian Eckes. Down the back straightaway. He's going to look at Christian Eckes. Last year he left with heartache. This year he leaves with a trophy. Eckes delivers at Bristol. You should all day long. Hell yeah, good job, guys. <laughs> and Kyle Busch got there. He was two tenths of a second behind, right on his bumper. Eckes gets his sixth career win tonight. Kyle Busch was going for his sixth win at Bristol, but comes up short. He was second. Zane Smith ends up third. Matt Crafton fourth. Tyler Rankrum, another top five, comes home fifth. You know, I said at the top of the show, Adam, that Corey Heim held off Kyle Busch head-to-head -head at Martinsville. What a big win that was for him. Two-tenths of a second. And it was right around a second with about eight laps to go. <laughs> Kyle digs in, goes after it comes up short. Congratulations to Christian Eckes. Said today was all about redemption. And boy, did he earn it tonight. Chevy stays undefeated in 2024. Corey Heim won here last fall. He was sixth tonight. Taylor Gray, seventh. Raja Carruth, another top ten. Eighth, Grant Infinger, eight for eight at Bristol. Another top ten for him as well. Came home ninth. And Lane Riggs, 
stays in the top 10, finishing 10. Hey, race fans, thanks for watching our video. For all NASCAR on Fox News content and the best clips from Fox Sports, be sure to follow and subscribe to our channel.